hello everyone welcome back to the doing it easy channel sorry i didn't create a tutorial as soon as i wanted uh, i was really busy the last week so as i promised today we are going to install the advanced template of v2 okay so let's go to downloads i'm going to do this not by the composer i'm going to do this for the arca download the arca files click on this link and uh, you will you will get a download of the advanced application template from there uh, all you have to do is go copy the advanced app and uh, go to your server localhost and paste it uh, into your, into that directory then of course you have to extract it extract here and you will get a template uh, directory called advanced here we have to do a couple of things first uh, we need to run a couple of commands uh, the first command is uh, uh, as you can see in the advanced uh, template directory when I after I extracted it you can see the backend and the frontend and a common directory uh, backend is kind uh, is a separate application and the front end is also a separate application and it is being combined by the common uh, common set of functions here okay so for example if the back end and the front ends are using the same model we create that model in the commons directory okay so let's go to our terminal you maximize this CD into the local host and again we are we need to go to the advanced uh, directory the file that we extracted so let's see the advanced okay now we have to run a couple of commands we have to run uh, the init command e sorry let's say php init okay uh, the e application initialization tool actually this initializes the whole uh, application make sure you do this if you don't do this you will get stuck so this is really important to which and uh, okay so we have to select the environment which we are going to do this so we have development and production so I'm going to go with development so I'll do zero and yes I want initialize application okay the initialization is complete so generate frontend comes see uh, they have changed the config uh, they have generated a config file in the front end and you have generated a config file in the back end as well so, and the common directories as well so uh, this actually does it so let's go to our local host advanced and check out our front end front end directory and web index or php as you can see we have created uh, we have properly installed uh, the two advanced template so this is the front end uh, let me go to the back end as well localhost we need to go to the back end directory back end uh, web and index.php oops i forgot advanced advanced slash backend web index okay as you can see we need to have a login working in order to log into the backend system uh, we can create a user by signing up here so you can add a username pass uh, email and a password but to do this first to do this we have to actually connect to a database yes obviously if we want to sign up we have to connect the database so let's go and create a uh, database php my admin and let's create a database called advanced underscore e2 okay let's put the into this into the utf8 utf8 yeah, create okay we have created um, where is it okay. advanced e2 
So next what we have to do is configure this. We have to change the config file of the advanced application in order to access this database, obviously. So let's open our, our application directory. Uh, where is it? Root uh, server and advanced. Let's open this up. Because this okay. Now we have backend, the common and the front end. Okay, so let's uh, the database access is ac uh, access configuration is in the common directory. Go to the config and go to the main local.php. Now we have the database uh, information we need. So we have localhost and we are so our server name is localhost my password is root and the database name we created is advanced uh, e2 i think let me just check that for a minute advanced e2 yes okay so we have configured that as well next what we have to do is we have to create create a users table because in order for this sign up to work we have to create a user table to do this it's really easy we have to do a migration uh, migration we have to use g migrate i think that is the command mm, we found did you mean? let's try this Oh, I can't remember the color rate. We migrate. Oops, we hold on for a sec. Let's look into the readme file. Okay, apply my migrations. This will create database table at work set document roots and so Okay, you migrate. That's the command. So okay, we changed the config file of the main local.php that we did. So this is the back end. So this has to work. Let me paste. Hmm. Let's try PHP migrate. Yes, sorry. So this is the command. Sorry about that. So PHP migrate. So e migration tool based on migration tool create migrations to table migration done. Uh, apply the above migration. Yes. Okay. We have created. Now we can go and take a look at the database. As you can see, we have created a user table. There you go and we have another table called uh, migrations so that it's not that important so let's go to the user table and we have couple of columns we have username auth key the password hash that is a token email role status and created and update it so let's uh, create a user uh, let's say doing it easy doing it easy and the email is let's stick to my email and the password is hmm, okay so let's create this okay unable to verify your data submission the above error occurred while the web server is process processing your case please contact us thank you okay okay that's the first error that we got okay let's try this again why is that happening okay so as you can see uh, we have logged in uh, with uh, that's what they do they actually register the user and they automatically log in so here we can see our details okay so now we can now this is the back end of the application so now we can actually sign in and the password I typed in hmm okay why i i am wondering why i got that error but it seems to be working fine this is the back end of the 
advanced application template so we have already logged in and here's the front end we have logged into that as well so uh, i think that covers today's lesson i think so that's what we have to do so what are the steps download the archive file go into a local host directory extract it um then what you have to do is run the init command in the terminal this will initialize your application and you have to select either development or production i have done development and the next is you have to mi do a migration a simple migration php ye migrate this will create a user table in your database oh before that of course you have to go to the commons directory local dot config directory and main dot log main uh, hyphen local dot php you have to change the database uh, configuration after that of course run the migration so that will do so yeah uh, the next time we'll discuss more about the advanced application we'll change a little bit of things so uh, we get the hang of it and we'll study about the directories and the files that we have okay so see you next time please subscribe uh, share my tutorials uh, like my tutorials comment down below anything you wish to uh, learn in the further tutorials uh, i'll do them please mail me all that uh, or comment down below so please subscribe thanks for watching have a great day bye